Welcome back to our channel. Today's topic is based on molecular biology technique that is chromatin precipitation sequencing. In the current video, I'll talk about principle of chip sequence techniques, how it performs, its advantages, limitations, and then most importantly, its application in life sciences. So stay tuned at the end of the video. Now let's get started. Chip sequencing or we can say chromatin immunoprecipitation sequencing is a cutting edge molecular biology technique which is used to investigate and analyze protein DNA interactions within the complex structure of chromatin. And what is chromatin? Chromatin is a combination of DNA and proteins including histones which package the DNA into a compact form. This technique has significantly contributed to our understanding of gene regulation, epigenetics and various cellular processes by providing a high resolution map of where specific proteins are bound to DNA in the genome. Now let's come to the SC procedure of chip sequencing. First step is cross-linking. In this step, cells will be treated with a formaldehyde. Formaldehyde is a good cross-linking agent and it creates covalent bond between proteins and DNA within the cell. Actually, formaldehyde freezes the interaction between proteins and DNA within the cell. Then, the cross-linked cells will be lysed to release the chromatin from the cell and the complex of DNA and protein that is chromatin will be come out from the cells. Then, by using restriction enzymes or mechanical forces, the chromatin will be fragmented into smaller pieces. The third step is immunoprecipitation. A specific antibody of the protein of interest will be used to pull down the protein DNA complexes. This antibody binds to the target protein and the resulting antibody protein DNA complexes will be isolated from the rest of the cellular components. Now, the protein DNA complexes will then be subjected to a process that breaks the crosslinks and separating the DNA from the proteins. In this step, we will be collecting the DNA fragments which originally bound to the protein of interest. The isolated DNA fragments will be subjected to high throughput DNA sequencing. This generates a large data set of short DNA sequences. We can call them as reads that represents the region of the genome where the protein was bound. By using bioinformatics, the sequenced DNA reads will be then aligned to a reference genome to identify their specific locations. By analyzing the distribution of these sequences across the genome, we can determine the regions where the protein of interest was bound before cross-linking. Chip sequencing is a powerful molecular biology technique used to study protein DNA interaction on a genome-wide scale. It has several advantages that make it a valuable tool for us in various fields. Chip sequencing allows us to investigate protein DNA interaction across the entire genome rather than focusing on individual gene or regions. This provides a comprehensive view of where a particular protein of interest is binding within the genome. Chip sequencing provides high resolution data which allows us to pinpoint the exact locations where a protein is binding to DNA. This information is crucial for understanding the functional implication of these interactions. Chip sequences produces quantitative data that indicates the relative abundance of DNA fragments associated with a protein of interest. This helps us to assess the strength and specificity of the interactions. Chip sequencing can uncover novel binding sites of a protein of interest which include those that might not have been previously known or predicted. This can lead to new insights into the gene regulation and function. Chip sequencing enables the comparison of protein DNA interactions under different conditions or between different cell types. This helps us to understand how these interaction changes in response to various stimuli or during developmental processes. Chip sequencing can be used to study epigenetic modifications such as DNA methylation or histone modification which play critical roles in gene regulation and cellular identity. Chip sequencing data can be integrated with other omic data such as gene expression profiling or DNA methylation data to gain a more comprehensive understanding of the regulatory mechanisms underlying biological processes. 
chip sequencing allows us to test specific hypotheses regarding dna protein interactions for example it can be used to validate predictions from computational analysis or to investigate the binding of protein to a specific dna motif chip sequencing has less bias compared to previous techniques like chip chip it doesn't require pre-designed probes and making it more suitable for detecting unknown or unexpected binding sites chip sequencing requires less starting material compared to other techniques continuous advancement in sequencing technologies have improved the efficiency sensitivity and cost effectiveness of chip sequencing overall chip sequencing provides a systematic and comprehensive approach to studying protein dna interactions gene regulation and epigenetic mechanisms enabling us to unravel complex biological processes and mechanisms besides all the advantages chip sequencing has some limitations chip sequencing experiments can be sensitive to experimental variations such as differences in antibody specificity cross linking efficiency and sample preparation techniques these variation can introduce noise and affect the reproducibility of results the success of chip sequencing heavily relies on the specificity of the antibodies used to pull down the protein of interest non specific binding or antibody cross reactivity can lead to inaccurate results cross linking of protein to dna is a crucial step in chip sequencing but it can introduce artifacts and alter the natural protein dna interactions suboptimal cross linking can result in false positive or false negative binding signals if the step of fragmenting the chromatin for not done properly it can introduce bias oversharing or undersharing dna fragments can affect the representation of binding sites and lead to inaccurate results The quality and depth of chip sequencing results are highly dependent on the sequencing coverage. Low sequencing depth can result in missed binding events, while excessive coverage might not significantly improve results and can lead to waste of resources. Chip sequencing data analysis requires sophisticated bioinformatics tools and expertise. Poor data processing or incorrect analysis methods can lead to misleading interpretations chip sequencing data often contains a level of background noise due to non specific binding and technical artifacts distinguishing true binding sites from noise can be challenging especially in regions with low signal to noise ratios chip sequencing can identify binding sites but it doesn't directly provide information about the functional consequences of these interactions Chip sequencing data might represent an average of signal across a heterogeneous population of cells that potentially masking cell to cell variability in protein dna interactions. Chip sequencing heavily relies on the reference genome for mapping and analysis. It might miss binding events that occur in repetitive regions or in areas not well covered by the reference genome. Chip sequencing provides a snapshot of protein dna interaction at a specific moment it might not capture transient or context dependent interaction that occur under certain conditions there are some challenges to validate the result chip sequencing results can be complex and might require additional experiments such as chips quantitative pcr or functional assays to confirm the biological relevance of identified binding sites Despite these limitations chip sequencing remains a valuable tool for investigating protein dna interaction and chromatin dynamics we should carefully design the experiment use appropriate controls and integrate chip sequencing data with other approaches to obtain a more comprehensive understanding of the biological processes now let's see the major application quickly chip sequencing is commonly used to map the binding sites of transcription factors Transcription factors are proteins that regulate gene expression by binding to specific DNA sequences. By identifying transcription factor binding sites across the genome, we can unravel complex gene regulatory networks and understand how different transcription factors cooperate or compete to control gene expression. Chip sequencing allows us to map various histone modifications such as acetylation, methylation and phosphorylation. which play a critical role in shaping the epigenetic landscape 
These modifications influence chromatin structure and gene expression and their patterns can provide insights into cell differentiation development and disease states. Chip sequencing can be used to identify open and accessible chromatin regions, which reveals areas of the genome that are more likely to be active in gene transcription. This information aids in understanding the 3D organization of chromatin and how it influences gene expression. Beyond transcription factor, chip sequencing can be employed to study the interaction of various DNA binding proteins, such as chromatin remodelers, insulator proteins, and RNA polymerase complexes. This sheds light on the roles these proteins play in gene regulation and chromatin structure. Chip sequencing has been instrumental in uncovering epigenetic changes associated with diseases like cancer. We can compare chip sequence profile between normal and diseased cells to understand how aberrant epigenetic regulation contributes to disease development and progression. Chip sequencing can identify enhancer regions which are non-coding DNA sequences that play a role in enhancing gene transcription. It can also map promoter regions which are essential for initiating gene expression. Understanding these regions and their interactions with regulated proteins provides insights into gene regulation. Chip sequencing can be used in combination with other techniques to study nuclear architecture and chromosome conformation, which helps to understand how different genomic regions interact in 3D space. Chip sequencing can help to validate protein-protein interactions by identifying genomic regions where a protein of interest binds. If two proteins are known to interact, chip sequencing can be used to study their co-localization on the genome. In summary, chip sequencing is a versatile technique that has revolutionized our ability to investigate protein-DNA interaction on a genome-wide scale. Its applications span from understanding fundamental gene regulation mechanisms to exploring epigenetic changes in various diseases. As technology advances and bioinformatic tools improve, chip sequencing continues to play a crucial role in advancing our understanding of genomics and epigenomics. So this is the end of the video. Thank you for joining us. If you found this video informative, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more DNA science content. Stay curious and keep exploring the wonders of DNA. Take care. Bye-bye.